Okay, this is for all women. For Hillary and Bill Clinton. And the reason why I did not vote for her after voting for her husband twice. Um, I did vote for her husband twice only because of policies and what he did as president. And yes, I was completely blind to his womanizing and how she, he treated women wrongly. Um, I liked him as president at the time, loved him. Because before 9-11, I was for his policies and how he handled Bazia and how he handled the foreign policy and um, at the Oklahoma bombing and a few um, things, but yeah, I was wrong. I admit I was wrong, even though I did like him as a president. For Hillary, though, hmm, never liked her, never will, because I believed she was a total bitch, an arrogant bitch. Um, I never liked bitchy women, arrogant women, even though I am one too, I'm blunt and honest, but I've never been crossing the line arrogant and blunt like her and I agree we shouldn't have that dynasties as families being president. However, I think I would vote for Trump Bush if I didn't love tr I didn't trust and voted for Trump because of jobs, economy after he came to our airport and how he handled Ted Cruz after um, he attacked us for a reaction to 9-11. We had every right to celebrate and kick the terrorist butt and protest we should have a mask down the road from the Freedom Tower. We shouldn't. Try it out. Um, but, and of course, Ted Cruz and Mark Robbio, alt-right people, never voted for them either. The two religious and Bible country people. And Ted Cruz, how he intimidated people in Iowa by um, doing a um, letter saying, Vote for me is a vote for freedom. <laughs> freedom Caucus people have no clue how to be open mind and open heart to different people. But going back to what, why this is a woman, um, Bill Clinton was not a very good guy. And Hillary Clinton hide, hid the fact he was not a very good guy. And he even, she even defended a rapist who was a childhood rapist. How could you stand by her? while she defended her husband and defend rape, rapists who rape ch children. I don't understand that. Even people who've been raped and such abuse like Sean Austin and Corey Feldman, they did not like Trump. I don't know if and Sean Austin did say he was going to vote for Hillary Clinton. Still don't understand that because he had friends, child actors like um, Craig Feldman voted, going to vote for her. Wow. I've been, I've been a victim of su su such abuse and rape and I'm funded by hurt by people like Sean Austin and Corey Feldman who could have passed the vote from Hillary. And Corey Feldman, like I said in one of the other videos, married his wife because 
she was a Canadian and afraid she would go back to Canada because um, Tom's um, DACA and immigration policy. Let's get this straight, guys. Trump was going to boot criminals, illegals, who are breaking the rule laws repeatedly, people who are in sanctuary cities, how sanctuary cities were um, protecting these people. He's only just making this country safer and stronger again, keeping us great. So we don't have to fear every day. We don't have to be afraid of every day. And Corey, your wife was Canadian, not Mexican. We are pretty much booting terrorists and Mexicans. And she was also working for your campaign. You know, she was also a prostitute, but she was still working. You had absolutely no reason to fear that Trump was going to boot her out of our country. So, um, I don't understand these people who can defend and vote for a womanizing man's wife when the truth is out there. When, and also with her campaign. She kills people. She murders people. There's evidence that she killed one of the, um, her campaign people who came bitch slapped her and betrayed her. So I don't know why you guys vote for murder and the kind of womanizing things. And I'm not rushing about like the liberals say I am. Also, um, the liberals are going nuts. And the liberal left, liberal press are trying to come up with different things trumping with no evidence. It's like Edward Snowden um, proven and and as I was um, spying on us. And um, Julian Hassan proved her emails did exist. And what did she say? Oh, bleach spot all the deleted um, emails. You defend her because she wants to keep secrets? At least Trump is out, out and open and honest about his mistakes and stop the womanizing the lot accusing him. Yeah, the but, um, boss interview with um, Billy Bush, locker room talk. That's all. He didn't touch women and he didn't rape women like Bill Clinton did and Hillary is supporting him, defending him. As a woman who has been to Helen back, being sexual abuse and raped, infuriates me to no ends how this Me Too moment, the woman much, were upset because Hillary didn't win. Wow. You guys betrayed all women for that. And of course, going back to Julian San and Russia and Edward Snowden. They were all proven to be right. You guys all need to stop watching fake news, the CNNs, MSNBCs, and the Blaze. And the Blaze are the conservative, alt-right, Bible, Clinton people who fear mongling against minorities. But going back to fake news, MSNBC and CNNs, and the Algezeros, they just are trying to pull out all the stuff. The fake, the fact checks are wrong. Some of Fox News fact checks are wrong too. Um, the Me Too movement, that life. You don't know what real sexual assault is too. And the reason why I said um, Fox News, fact, fake news too, 
most of the Incas, I don't think, um, as conservative as we like. They are fan balance on that channel, but only a handful. Like three of, um, like five or six people out of hundred are Trumpers, Trumpicans, and Trump supporters. So um, I don't want facts very much to them. And the last state, I'm sorry, who people who are actually liking last state, pe people overblown, maybe too paranoid stuff, like Alex Jones and these YouTube and the independent blogs, not real news sites. I know I believe. Um, can you guys all do some real reporting and like the news, um, have videos proving your claims instead of writing or um, bringing up old pictures like CNN and MSNBC is? And also, most of these independent flags, YouTube, are here saying. It's videos for pe people who want to see, it's not live videos, not live pictures, because they just wanted to see people. Um, I just think these individual independent blogs and YouTube are conspiracies. You all need to know what the conspiracy is, because you're being blinded to a point where you can't come back. So I'm Magdalene, but you are. Um, I just trust what I see in real time, real videos from real news. Um, I don't watch fake news. Um, I only watch Fox News and sometimes the local news. They do tend to tell the truth. Some of the local news, <laughs> yeah, they're not, they're not local, they're also just national, international, spreading no news to them. So, I explain that in the next video, I hope. Um, but I'm just saying, people please be careful of what you're seeing on these blogs. YouTube because they're not really live and not really people are talking like me right now. I'm live talking to you and not doctoring videos at all. I'm just speaking my mind, speaking the truth and experience. Also, these videos on YouTube are still pictures. Like, I wanted to watch a real life crash and tour de France. All they are giving us is the still pictures and the white writings from it. Not real pictures, real videos, so I'm sick of that. I'm just saying, do your research, do your real research before you realize um, you voted wrong, it's too late, just do your research and prove us wrong, please, prove us wrong.